This is case of the week. 45 year old gentleman was working, was cutting a pipe. The pipe fell, he tried to grab it. And when he grabbed it, he felt a grinding, ripping sensation involving his left arm. I'm just gonna have you take a look at this area right here. Here's his biceps muscle. And then I'm going to have you take a look at his biceps on this side. Okay, so what do you think he's got? I'm 71. This is a 71 year old gentleman who has a history of an injury involving not only his right arm, but also his left arm. What do you think this diagnosis is? The first patient had a distal biceps tendon rupture where you could see the muscle had migrated proximally. The biceps tendon ruptured distally off the bicipital tuberosity. We fix those. They tend to occur in males between the ages of 35 to 60, and we will tend to fix those. We like to fix them within a couple weeks. Anything after two weeks makes it really difficult to do the surgery because of so much scar tissue. The second patient had a proximal biceps tendon rupture. We don't typically operate on proximal bicep tendon ruptures. And you could see where the uh, tendon ruptured proximally and the whole biceps muscle uh, migrated distally, which we call that a Popeye deformity. Those also tend to occur in men, tend to occur in an older uh, population. 10% of the time, there is a concurrent rotator cuff tear in associated with a proximal bicep tendon rupture. Remember, there's two biceps tendons. Uh, there's the long head, which is kind of weak, and then the short head, which is very strong, that attaches to your coracoid. So even though you rupture the long head of the biceps tendon, you really don't lose much function of your arm because the short head of the biceps tendon is still attached.